Hey Aquarius, I hope you guys are all really well. Welcome to your general love reading for the first half of October 2022. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. And because it's general, it's not going to be everybody's situation. And it also means that the roles can be reversed. All right, Aquarius. If you would like a personal reading, all that information is in the description box. And I will be focusing more on your energy and just a little bit on the other person's energy this time around. Definitely let me know if you prefer it this way for those of you who have been following me. Um, yeah, just out of curiosity. Let's see Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for the first couple weeks of October 2022. Okay, for the situation we have, ooh, the Five of Pentacles crossed by the Knight of Wands. Okay, so I feel like, you, you know, you're in a situation here where you either are feeling maybe a little bit lonely or just feeling like, you know, somebody has neglected you or just kind of ignored you, left you out in the cold kind of a thing. And there, it could be that there's a lot of in and out, a lot of back and forth, a lot of instability, either in the way that you are feeling about this or in the way that the situation is with this other person, like this other person just really, you know, being in and out in that way. Let's see the recent past we have the world. Okay, so it does feel like there was some kind of an ending or some kind of a completion here um, recently, which could be what is, you know, making you feel this way. Let's see the your consciousness. We have the nine of wands. In your subconscious, we have the king of wands. All right. Yeah, you're pushing through. Um, there's something here that you're putting effort into and it's probably feeling very, very tiring for you. But I feel like, you know, deep down, you're having this push. You're having this drive to really, you know, overcome this challenge. Let's see for your current energy. Yeah, we have the Six of Swords. So you are, you are healing and you are moving past the pain of this, like just leaving it in the past and just moving forward. Let's see the other person's energy here. We have, oh, we have temperance, Sagittarius energy. So some of you might be dealing with a Sagittarius. Let's see what is coming up. We have the two of cups and the message for you is the three of cups. All right, Aquarius, wow. This is interesting because it feels like there's an ending here. It feels like, you know, something came to a close. You're not feeling good about it. You're pushing through. You're putting in this effort to move away from whatever it is that created this pain. You're healing and you're moving right, <laughs> right towards love. So it could be that, you know, this actually brings the two of you back together somehow. Um, not only that, I'm getting a very specific message for some of you. I mean, having the Two of Cups and then the Three of Cups, um, I'm even getting that, you know, from the two of you, it becomes three of you in terms of it could be, it could be children. Um, I don't see this as a bad thing. I'm not seeing it as a third party, all right? Um, but it is also the guidance, so we'll see, okay? I'm getting that things are going to get easier because it's like right now you're thinking about the struggle but the message for you here is you know very something very light there is no struggle it's just enjoyment so that is the message here um, from spirit you know that things are going to get easier and not only that there's this two of cups there's love here your other person being in this energy of temperance. We'll see. We'll see when we clarify. Um, I don't want to speak too soon. So let me see that five of pentacles with the knight of wands. Page of pentacles, the page of wands, and the two of swords. Um, it could be that there's even just children involved, like just in the situation between you and this person, or there, it might not be that the two of you have children together, could be, but it could just be that children are involved like overall, all right? So just something as a side note there. Um, other than that,
it, I'm almost getting that, you know, somebody was having a hard time either making a decision or acknowledging acknowledging something here. It almost feels like, you know, if they were having, if they were torn or if you were torn between two things here, it was either following, you know, your intuition and what you feel inspired towards or following what seems to be the most practical approach. And so I'm getting that there was a lot of back and forth between these two energies. And that ultimately somehow led to you feeling neglected or abandoned by this. Or just feeling alone. If this is you who was not able to make this decision, you know, then you just ended up not doing anything. So that's either your person doing that or that's you doing that. Either way, it's left you feeling not so good and again i feel like there's still that fluctuation it's like the challenge is to just you know choose a path and then take it and which one is the right one which one is the right one let's see let's see the world for the recent past the star okay there you are and the four of pentacles Okay, so whatever it is that came to a completion here, I feel like, you know, there's a part of you still holding on to it. You're still holding on to it, still wanting something from this. That's all I'm going to say. Um, you're just still holding on to that. And again, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. It just really depends. But you're still holding on to this. Let's see the Nine of Wands. For your consciousness here, we have the Five of Swords and the Six of Cups. Hmm. Yeah, there's something... You know, it's like you're feeling some kind of a betrayal. Some kind of a deception, either by the other person or by your own self. It really depends, okay? Um, again, roles can be reversed. But you're still, it's like you're, you're wanting to move away from this. And like I said, like you are, you are. But it's feeling very hard because you're still feeling, feeling a pull back to that. There's nostalgia for this. There's missing, like you're missing um, something from this situation or from this connection or from this person and that's what makes it so hard and I feel like you know you feel like you know that the other person feels the same about you and so that just makes it even harder but you're still feeling betrayed though like the connection was betrayed somehow let's see this king of wands in your subconscious The Ten of Cups and the King of Cups. There's a lot of love here. That's the thing. There's a lot of love here. And I do feel like this has to do with the other person. Where you know what this person feels about you. You know that they have feelings for you. Emotions for you. You know that they want you. You, you know that they, they also know that they could be happy with you. So I don't know what it is that has happened here. But you know, you feeling some kind of a betrayal that just... So you feel like you need to move away from this, but knowing how this person feels about you just makes it harder. But again, it's like you're also feeling this drive that, you know, you, you want this happiness. You want this happiness, and so, yeah, you're doing what you can. It's like you're almost there with that Nine of Wands. It's, it's a struggle, but it's like... You're almost there. Let's see the Six of Swords. And it is coming up. I mean, look, at you have the Two of Cups here. Let's see the Six of Swords for your current energy, the Emperor and the Hanged Man. It's like you're moving away from this. And... By moving away from this, this is empowering you. And it might not feel like it at the moment, but it is going to empower you. And it is going to keep you from just 
hanging in the same situation. Like if you were waiting for something here, right? Because it could even be with temperance and the other person's energy that, you know, they were just taking their sweet time with things or, you know, like I said, being in and out and, you know, not really um, um, committing themselves to a certain path. You were just like in limbo and you're moving away from that. By doing so, you are, there's a lot of healing here for you. And those are fireworks, if you can hear them. Okay, so let's see temperance. That is a lot of fireworks. <laughs> All right, Ace of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles. Whoever it is that you're dealing with here, this is somebody who actually wants to give a lot to you, that wants to open up a new path here um, for the two of you. I do feel like they're taking some time and I actually feel like what this is is that this person needs some time to find their own balance. This could be somebody who was, you know, either engaging in like extreme like behavior so if this is the person who was in and out it could be you know when they were in they were like 100% in and then when they were out they were like 100% out or at least that's what it felt like so it's like there wasn't this like healthy middle ground so I feel like that is what they're learning that is what they are kind of working towards is finding that balance of not being extreme and of not going, you know, being one minute this way and then the other minute that way. It's like, no, okay, like, can I have both of these things? And if not, you know, which path am I dedicating myself to? So there's a lot to do here with balance and with giving what it is that needs to be given in order for this path between the two of you to open. I mean, yeah, you're moving away from this, but I, I see love here. I see love and I don't see anything negative actually from this person, at least coming up. I'm sure there was, right, with that five of swords that we have there, or unless that was you. I don't know. Let's see. Two of cups. <laughs> Two of cups again, just to really reinforce that. And the six of wands. This is a successful love connection that is coming up for you. I do feel like for the most part, you also have the ten of cups here, the king of cups. I feel like for the most part, um, for most of you, this is actually th this person here. It's the same person that you're having this two of cups with are coming together in love and it is looking very very successful <laughs> i know that sounds like i'm sugarcoating but i mean that's that's what we have here let's see it's like a victory it's like a success you know like okay it doesn't mean it's not going to have its challenges it doesn't mean that it's not going to have its ups and downs you know but just that overall something is coming together here let's see the three of cups for the message for you The King of Pentacles and Judgment. I'm telling you, it's all looking like so freaking positive. And I'm actually not surprised because it was really, really positive for um, the other air signs as well. And elements tend to kind of go together. Like you have like some common underlying themes. So yeah, I'm not really all that surprised. All right, so Aquarius here, King of Pentacles and Judgment. There is a major rebirth here. There is some kind of a resurrection that is happening here, especially in terms of somebody being committed. Something very, very stable here and things just getting easier, things getting more enjoyable. And the message that I'm getting here is, you know, for you to keep following your call, keep following your own intuition to help get you through this difficult part of this path right you know allow yourself to to enjoy a little bit you know whatever it is that you can enjoy don't only focus on what's hard don't only focus on what's hard you know just if, if you can and i know this is easier said than done but if you can you know maybe just lighten up a little bit 
knowing that, you know, by moving away from this, by healing from whatever it is that may have happened, it's leading you straight to love. So, Aquarius, yeah. Some of you might also be dealing with an earth sign. I do also see Aries. We have Aquarius, which is you. And yeah, those are the ones that are standing out to me the most, but of course you could be dealing with any sign, right? Because we do have the, um, yeah, we have a whole bunch of kings anyway. So yeah, all right, Aquarius. If this resonated, please do give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And let's see the final message for you. And we have loyal heart. Yeah, it's in line with what I've been saying. Um, you're going to have this love and whatever it is, it's going to be loyal. It's going to be committed and long term. I feel like you already know that like that you can feel that in this particular connection. And it's just a matter of getting through um, a hard struggle right now. All right, Aquarius, those are your messages. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.